Hey guys, Private Jack here, and what we're going to do with this tutorial is show you the recommended way of actually getting the uh, paintable skins to work in Source Filmmaker. Now, if you watch the other video, all we did was move the workshop folder above TF uh, movies and everything became paintable. Uh, it's not recommended to do it that way simply due to the fact that you have a huge chance of screwing up uh, a lot of your other models, especially if they're using skins that uh, you've downloaded from the workshop that are replacing other skins. Uh, this method actually takes the workshop folder and we take the elements out of the workshop folder and create a new mod folder for the skin. So this is the recommended way to do it. And it gives you a little more flexibility to uh, what you want to do with these skins. So basically what we're going to do is we are going to go into the workshop. We're going to download or we're going to click on a skin here we're going to download it either by going into each individual skin and clicking the subscribe button or in each of the skins i have this link that will take you to a collection that will allow you to download whatever skin you want individually by clicking the plus button uh, you can sub unsubscribe from it by clicking the, the, the check mark and turning it to a plus button. Or you can subscribe to all by clicking the subscribe to all button. And there will be a check mark in everything. If you don't want something, you can uncheck it and it will become unsubscribed. If you just want to get rid of them all, you can come up here and you can click on the unsubscribe from all. And it will go through and it will clear the subscription. And the next time you load Source Filmmaker, it will delete the files from your computer. Okay, so I want all the skins. I'm going to click subscribe to all. And I'm going to launch Source Filmmaker. No, before I... No, I have to download the files. Right. So I'm going to launch Source Filmmaker. I've uploaded and downloaded and moved these files around so many times now I forget where I am sometimes. Okay, so I'm going to click on that to continue. I'm going to create a session. And as soon as I create the session, I should get the old uh, do you want to update files. Okay, I'm going to click on OK. And as soon as I do that, I'm going to end up with these workshop file conflict notifications if you don't click yes to all the paintable mo uh, skins may not work so we're going to sit here and we're going to click yes to all until we get the final message saying that everything has been downloaded notice i'm clicking yes to all Once you've got it all figured out and the conflicts have been cured, you'll get all files downloaded from the workshop. Click OK. Close Source Filmmaker. <coughs> Excuse me. From here, what we have to do is we have to actually go into the workshop folder now. So we're going to go into where we have Source Filmmaker. Don't pay any attention to this. I'm, I've got mine on a... a SSD and you probably have it on C drive, but it should be in program file steam steam apps common source filmmaker game workshop Okay, if you go into the game folder right down here, you'll find workshop now these files will download to workshop materials models Player And then into the individual class uh, folders. Uh, the uh, open jacket will end up here in items. And if you scroll into items, spy, there's the open jacket uh, VMT and paintable um, 
files. Okay, so what we need to do now is we need to come back up into game and we're going to create a folder. So source fellow maker game, we're going to create a folder, new folder. We're going to call it paintable or whatever you wish. And now I'm going to open up that folder and I'm going to create another instance of File Explorer and go back into that workshop folder. So up here, Source Filmmaker, Game, Workshop, Materials, Models, Player, and I'm going to stop there. Okay, in this new paintable folder that I created, I'm going to create a materials folder. New folder. Materials. I'm going to drill into that. I'm going to create a new folder. Play, uh, models. Drill into that one. I'm going to create in that folder a new folder called player. drill into that folder. So now I have a matching file path. So instead of the mod folder being workshop, the mod folder is now paintable. Materials, models, player, materials, models, player. And then I'm just going to pick up demo, engineer, heavy, medic, Pyro, Scout, Sniper, Soldier, and Spy. And I'm going to right click on it and drag it over here. And I'm going to copy it here. Now I'm going to also create a new folder as well called Items. I'm going to drill into that items folder. I'm going to create a new folder called spy. And drill into that. I'm going to drill into it in the workshop folder. And then I'm going to pick up these VMTs and VTFs and drag them over with the right mouse button drop them and say copy here. The reason why I'm not moving them is simply due to the fact that if I move them, as soon as I close down Source Filmmaker and open it up again, it's going to bug me to re-download the files. I want the files to stay in the workshop folder so that if there are, if I go out and I change those files and I upload new files because someone's found a bug in them, I'll get prompted to replace them instead of having to go through and check every now and again by subscribing and I can get the uh, it will notify me if there's been any changes so that being done now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back up here into players and I'm going to drill into each of these uh, class folders now and I'm going to get rid of anything that I don't need Okay, these are the paintable items and they are all required. Engineer, these are all paintable and are required. I could get rid of the Fong mask because it will come from the TF or the TF movies folders or the TF extract folder that I have my game cache files in. I could get rid of it if I wanted to. Uh, player, drill into heavy weapon. Maimed, I don't need because they are not part of the... These are another folder that... Or another model that I've downloaded from the actual um, workshop. I don't need them in my paintable folder. Because they have nothing to do with painting the heavy. So I can delete those. And because I didn't move them in here, they're still available to me in that workshop folder. 
Uh, medic. Paint, paint, paint. Paint. They're all good. Pyro. I could get rid of the pyro light warp. It's not really required. It would be pulled from my original game cache files. But I'll leave it there anyway. Scout. No pack. Paint, paint. White. I don't need the white. Now, the reason why I have to dig these out is be I could leave them here, uh, but... Um, I've already got them in my workshop folder and I don't need them again. So, sniper, paint, 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 paint. They're all required. Soldier, paint, and spy. I need all of them. Okay. Good. So now that that's done, I'm going to open up the SDK. And right here, I'm going to click on Edit Search Paths. Now, I should have somewhere down here that paint folder. Paintable, right there. That's the new folder that I just created and put those new paintable items in. I'm going to click it on, and I'm going to move it above TF Movies. Now only my paintable items are in that folder that are above the paint or above the TF Movies and my other stock TF items, so that if I wanted to, if I didn't, if I just wanted to use the original characters. I could click it off and it will no longer be paintable. I'm not affecting my workshop folders. I'm not affecting anything else. I'm just turning off the paintable folder. If I want it back on, I click it on and make sure it's above TF Movies. The reason why it has to be above TF Movies is because these skins affect both the HWM models and the player models. I click on OK. I launch Source Filmmaker, and now that that paintable folder is above all those folders, it has the highest priority other than user mod. I can paint my characters. Load a map, stage. Uh, in this particular instance, I'm going to bring in a Sniper HWM, no, a Sniper player model. And I'm going to bring in the HWM Pyro. The reason why I'm bringing the Pyro in is I've got a little treat for you. So HWM Pyro. Okay, I'm going to bring them up on stage. This is a quick way of bringing them up on stage. All you do is drill into the root transform, grab the positions, change to the uh, motion editor, and pull the default slider. And they'll move right up on stage. Now I'm going to separate them. Pull the sniper, player sniper over here and pull the pyro this way a little bit and like i said in the other video i tried to keep them as close as i possibly could to the original colors that they would spawn in now both red and blue are paintable both player model and hwm are paintable okay so with the uh, with the pyro i'm going to change him to the blue skin and I'll leave the sniper red. I'm going to add an override material to both of them. And we'll start with the sniper. I'm going to throw him into the element viewer. Here where the materials are, I'm going to expand materials. I'm going to find sniper red. 
And anywhere, any of these materials where you see a color tint base color swatch, they may be paintable. In this case, we know it's paintable. So there's the sniper. And with the sniper, I also gave the sniper lenses the ability to be tinted as well. They don't tint very much because they are a translucent material. Okay, now with this pyro here, I'm going to throw him. Oops, sorry about that. We're back here into Source Filmmaker. We're just going to minimize that. We're going to throw the pyro into the element viewer. Now, this is the blue skin. Blue skin is affected by pyro blue. So we'll expand pyro blue. Here's the color swatch. And there he is. He's paintable. Okay. I also gave you the ability to paint the pyro head. And what's going to paint on the pyro head on the HWM model only are the eyes. So click on that. And we can give him some nice colored eyes so that is painting the models and how you would set them up to work in Source Filmmaker this is the recommended method the other method of just moving the workshop folder is not really recommended, but a quick way to do it as well. So with that, I'm going to say Private Jack out.